Hi, I'm Dr. Brett Langston. I'm an experienced prosthodontist and I'm the director of dental implant and aesthetic specialist here in Brookhaven, Georgia. And I'm here to help you watch your mouth. Here's some things you need to know about gum disease and how it can affect your heart and your overall health. What a lot of people don't realize is that the same bacteria that make the plaque in your mouth is also the same bacteria that they've found in plaque in your arteries. So we're starting to make a lot of connections between oral health and overall systemic health. One of the things that is a big buzzword in oral health that we're starting to tie in to overall health is the word inflammation. If you read any of the literature on heart disease, uh, cardiac health, inflammation is a big indicator of uh, cardiac distress, heart attacks, um, angina, issues that, that, are, that are damaging to the arteries. And the problem is the plaque gets layered in there and the arteries aren't able to stretch and move anymore. And a, a really interesting study came out where they took those bacteria out of a, out of a heart plaque in the heart and the arteries and it's the same bacteria that are in your mouth. Um, so the big take home message is if you have an unhealthy mouth with lots of bacteria that you're not cleaning and not, not taking care of, a lot of times that can travel into your bloodstream, whether it's from you know chewing food, you get a slight laceration, um, just daily life, your bacteria can get taken into the bloodstream and they can start to build plaques in the, in the heart. There's a whole host of issues that can happen in your whole body that can be traced back to untreated and undiagnosed periodontal disease. And that's one of the main reasons why we stress and push so hard for our patients to come in every six months is because within six months, you can have some changes in your oral health. And if you go long enough without anybody diagnosing it, it can have some pretty impactful problems on the rest of your body. You know, I had a great mentor who always told me periodontal disease is very much like cardiovascular disease. You don't really feel it because it's a slow progression. It's a loss of bone, it's a loss of tissue. In the heart, it's just a slow hardening of those arteries. And by the time you realize it, dentally speaking, a tooth falls out. All of a sudden your tooth is wobbling. Cardiovascularly speaking, you have a heart attack, you have a stroke. Um, these are things that we can, I don't want to say we can prevent them or eliminate them, but they're things if we catch early, there are lots of ways that we can modify and change that to kind of improve your overall health. So periodontal disease is when the, the bacteria in your mouth actually attack the gum and bone tissue that surround your teeth and kind of anchor them in place. So over time, as you lose that gum and bone tissue, less and less of that tooth is anchored in the bone, which eventually leads to mobile teeth and eventual tooth loss. Periodontal disease is primarily caused by the bacteria in your mouth. Um, the majority of periodontal disease is really just a genetic lottery. Um, it's kind of the bacteria that you get are either gonna be the ones that attack your teeth, they're gonna be the ones that attack your bone and tissue, or they're gonna be happy, healthy bacteria. Some people have one kind, some people have both, very unfortunate. Uh, some people are blessed with the bacteria that they can, I hate to say it as a dentist, but they can have horrible hygiene and horrible home care. And besides bad breath, there's really nothing going wrong. But that's a really small part of the population. The majority of us have the ones that if we don't take care of ourselves, we're going to get decay or we're going to get periodontal disease. So while periodontal disease is based on the bacteria that you have in your mouth, if you do have bacteria that could cause periodontal disease and you don't do a proper home care, proper hygiene, and it leads to inflammation of the gum tissue, which is called gingivitis, and if that goes untreated or uncorrected, that can lead to periodontal disease. Um, so it really is genetic, it really is home care. Uh, the best way to prevent it is a combination of the two. So the, the big take home message is that the mouth is not an isolated organ away from the rest of your body. It really is intricately linked to your whole systemic health and well-being. So by taking care of your mouth, you're really kind of preventing any issues from sneaking around and causing overall body issues. Um, and one interesting side note is it's not just your mouth. Uh, they had a study they found that people with periodontal disease, if they kissed a baby or kissed their children, can actually transfer those periodontal causing bacteria to their child or to somebody else's child. So um, it's one of the things if, if you could actually impact somebody else's health and future by you not taking care of yourself. So hopefully you enjoyed our video and if you learned anything or if you had anything you'd like to add, hit the like button, make a comment in the section below. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, make sure you follow our YouTube channel. We've got lots of other great videos. Um, and again, I'm Dr. Brett Langston helping you watch your mouth, which is nasty to think about. But like you think about like that, like your aunt Edna that wants to kiss your baby, like she's all, don't let her do it because she's going to pass those bacteria. <laughs> That's dental short for gnarly teeth with bacteria. <laughs>